Hello, my name is Dante, and in this video, I will show you how you can join the Cosmos Theta Testnet in five minutes. The Cosmos Ansible repo shown here includes several sample inventory files that we can use to join or start a testnet using Ansible. The only requirements we need on our control machine are Python and Ansible. I have already set up both of these on my computer. For the machine I'll use to join the testnet, I have set up SSH access to a virtual machine with 8 cores, 16 gigs of RAM, and 320 gigs of free disk space that is running Ubuntu 20.04. I'll get ahead. I will go ahead and clone a copy of this repo on my local machine. And I'll start the timer. The left tab of the terminal window is my local computer. Tab on the right is the virtual machine I have SSH into. Going back to the uh, repo, we'll go back to the examples page, and I'll use the very first one to join the data testnet. And I'll only need to make a modification, which is replace the data testnet.com address with my own in the host section. IP address, paste it, save it, exit, and now I can copy the command from the examples page, paste it here, and run it. Going back to the repo, I can scroll up to the very uh, first, to the top of the examples page to get some more information while the playbook is running. So after the playbook, uh, has finished finish running, I can log into the node and see if the chain is running with this one command. I'll go over to my virtual machine, paste the journal control command, and um, the playbook hasn't finished running, so the Cosmo Advisor service hasn't been started. As soon as, uh, as soon as the playbook is over, I should be able to see some output coming out here. And there we go, the custom biosphere service has started and it will take probably a couple of minutes for it to sync with the rest of the network. I'll control C. And something else to note on the examples page is that the Gaia application is set up for the Gaia user by default. So if we want to run any Gaia D commands, we need to switch over to the Gaia user. So I will do just that. As you I can try running a Gaia D version command. And yes, I uh, have version 7.0.0. That's what I was expecting to get. Something else I can put running is Gaia D status. And I will use this to see if uh, I have fully synced to the network by looking at the latest block height, which is currently set to zero. And that means that I haven't finished syncing, so I can quickly exit the guy user and check the general control command again and the number I'm expecting to see here will be given by the block explorer so I have another tab open on my browser which says that the latest block height is 10,623,241 so I would expect something to see in the 240-250 range once it's fully synced. For now I will Control C out of the general control uh, command, switch over to Gaia. And what I can do now is try creating a test account. Gaia D. Let's add the Dante test account. I will add it to the test queue ring. And uh, you might want to save all this output in a safe, safe place. For now, I will copy my newly created address, and I'll go over to the Block Explorer to look it up. And right now, I have a balance of zero atom. I just created this account. What I can do is send some funds to it using Kepler. I'll try sending one atom.
I refresh this page, I would expect to see this balance this to be one. I don't know. There we go. And try running that again. Try the status. There's more information now, and it looks like the latest block height it ends in two fifty five. And so 259 here, 260. There we go. It looks like we have synced. That's under five minutes. So I can actually use Sky ID to check the balance in this account again and say Sky ID query balances, paste the address, and there it is. One million, you add them. And we have successfully joined the Theta testnet. Well, thank you for watching.